All right, we are live. We'll let some people start diving in in just a minute. All right, so we got a pretty good crowd. We're about 11.05. We'll go and kick this bad boy off. I'm going to start with the the tried and true. If you like the content we're putting out and you want to invite your friends, I just dropped a link in the offers there. Um, that's the link to invite anybody you want, any agent that you think would benefit from the stuff we're doing. Uh, feel free to grab that, invite them, tell them to jump in with us. I'll leave that up for a couple minutes. Today, uh, we're going to talk a little bit different today. Usually, we're talking about various strategies and tips and tricks on how to do your own active prospecting and building business. Today, we've got the the marketing master. Shane is going to talk a little bit about um, specifically about the marketing side of this business and how to set up good marketing, how to run the proper ads, uh, how to not waste your time and energy and money. So. I think uh, most people that have w even wanted to touch on uh, how do I market my business and generate you know business in an effective way, this is the time for you, right? This isn't necessarily a particular strategy. This is the marketing 101 coming from a guy who's been doing it. Um, it all of the great marketing that Double Your Income Coaching, he's the he's the mad scientist behind it. So he's got it dialed in pretty well. And, uh, and I'm going to let him take over. I'll quit yapping. And we're 11.05. If they're not here, then they're late. Awesome. Well, yeah. So let, let me just clarify a little bit because um, uh, I, I the uh, our social media coaching stuff's on Thursday. So um, we'll be talking about more strategies and, and uh, specifically TikTok, Facebook, Google Ads, and things like that. So just to clarify about what this call is about today. So this is really about how we generate leads by leveraging Facebook ads. Um, this is one strategy. It's one pillar in um, in our businesses. And uh, this is something that we've been doing for a very, very long time. And uh, we'll be talking about a specific strategy that we use that generates hundreds of leads. It's foolproof, works every single time. Um, and uh, it's my favorite one so <laughs> because it's easy. Um, so, yeah, so we can go ahead. Let's dive in a little bit. Uh, hey, really quickly before we get started here, um, since we are talking about Facebook ads um, and leveraging the Facebook uh, ads platform, uh, everybody that's watching, uh, let me I just want to get a bit of a sense of uh, who, you know, who the audience is, what uh, what you guys have done, what your experience is, is um, for anybody that's watching here who um, has tried or is running Facebook ads. Anybody drop a comment here if you are, and I'll go ahead and get these slides up. Dun, dun. All right. All right, go back to my chat. All right, Joshua is, Danya has, Tom, nope. Uh, haven't passed for open houses, okay. I've used it, but I don't think I've used them properly. Not yet. Yes, I've ran some. Tried it once. Junk results. <laughs> All right. Yeah, this is pretty difficult. Uh, run them religiously. Awesome. Andrew, good stuff. Um, I do. Not very successfully. Um, so just give you an idea, like the scale at uh, which we've uh, we've run ads. Um, and I'll go a little bit into sort of my background um, in a second here. But um, for one of our teams right now, uh, we spend anywhere between uh, three to eight thousand dollars a month. Uh, currently, last year, between the month of August to December, which was one of our bigger months, we were close to twelve thousand dollars a month um, in Facebook ads. Uh, years ago, uh, years probably about three years ago, we used to um, run ads for uh, Z Buyer and Op City. Yes, they buy ads from people, or they buy leads from people like us, <laughs> and. Um, uh, we were, I think for Z buyer, we were probably spending north of, uh, 50,000 a month or so. Um, so there, you know, clearly, um, you know, Facebook ads work. Um, it's, uh, it's just a matter of, you know, mindset, um, and, and the follow-ups and, uh, we'll talk a little bit about that. Uh, so today I'm going to talk about how to generate hundreds of leads with Facebook ads and, uh, to you, whoops, how do we next? This is actually my first time. You know, we've been running these uh, these coaching calls for uh, God, how long now, Walter? I, I can't remember when. Probably about a year and a half. I think it's been yeah, close to at a year, least and a half. year have, if not if not a year and a half. Yeah, we have about uh, eight thousand agents now registered to this uh, to this coaching call, which is kind of cool. Uh, and uh, 
normally Brad's the one that does these. Um, I take care of all the back end, work with all the coaches and stuff like that. Um, and so this is the first time that I've actually been on this call and have used the uh, I've used the uh, the webinar uh, tool here with uh, presentations and stuff. Anyways. Uh, so a little bit about me, um, I've spent, well, we've spent over, or I have, I've spent well over a million dollars on Facebook ads um, over the past years. Um, I am the uh, co-creator, this should actually say co-creator, of the Real Estate Marketing Conversion Mastery Facebook group, um, is one of the fastest growing uh, Facebook communities for real estate agents and real estate marketing. Uh, about 17,000 members now inside of that group. I'm also the uh, uh, co-creator of uh, what is called the uh, uh, Real Estate Marketing Conversion Academy. And that was a coaching program for both uh, agencies and uh, real estate agents. Um, and we were uh, named one of the top three uh, uh, digital products uh, for real estate uh, professionals by InMan. I've worked and coached. I just looked at the numbers. Numbers are over uh, closer to 1,700 real estate professionals. And uh, so that includes everybody from, you know, the real estate agents to lenders to the marketing agencies out there, the people that are selling you leads. Uh, we've worked a lot of with, uh, with a lot of those organizations. And uh, our marketing efforts uh, are responsible for uh, well over $300 million in closed volume. Um, the, just some quick math, um, just in terms of who we've worked with, the teams we've worked with, the agents we've worked with, um, and uh, I came up close to somewhere about 380 million that I, that I can figure out. So that's a little bit about me. Um, so moving on. So let's talk a little bit about why Facebook ads. Um, and uh, we've been we've been leveraging Facebook uh, for about seven years now uh, to generate leads for the real estate industry. Uh, and uh, one of the things that I really like about Facebook ads is that it is a fast and easy way to quickly build your database and, and pack it full of opportunities. Uh, you can get an ad up and running in 10 minutes and within two to three days, you can easily generate 100, 150 leads or so. We've done, um, there, there's been uh, agents that we've worked with in the past where we have spent um, $1,000 over the course of three to four days and have generated hundreds and hundreds of leads. And so this is one of the reasons why I really like Facebook. Um, however, there are some challenges and we'll talk about that those challenges just here in a second. Uh, they're very simple setup um, and leads are relatively cheap to generate, especially compared to other platforms like YouTube or Google Ads. Uh, the great way to reach and connect with a larger audience. So, um, you know, you can expand outside your SOI and other audiences that you might have. And uh, definitely very effective for growing your brand and relatively um, cheap to get started. I mean, typically, you know, uh, you can start with uh, 300 to $500 a month um, and you can easily scale that to uh, thousands of dollars um, a month and beyond. Um, let me just read some of these comments here. It seems like Steve says, uh, seems like one out of a hundred leads was good. Yes, absolutely. We'll talk about that in a second. Uh, what is your average ROI um, on the money? So typically our ROI, I mean, it really depends on the markets. Um, it depends on the agents. There's so many uh, variables uh, in terms of, you know, what we've seen. Uh, we've, you know, we've worked with agents in the exact same markets where we, you know, we generated hundreds of leads for one agent. They can't convert anything. We generate a hundred leads for another agent and they convert, you know, they convert their leads. Um, but um, I, I think typically like with some of the bigger teams and some of the, the, the teams where we, you know, put systems in place and uh, we've worked really hard at making sure that they're converting their leads. We're typically seeing a, a 10 X to 12 X return on, um, uh, on our ad spend. Uh, we do uh, quite a bit of pre-construction stuff. So um, one of the examples that I've used, like we we spent last year uh, somewhere around between thirty-five to forty thousand dollars in ads on some of our pre-construction. We've uh, so far to date, uh, we've generated about one point two million dollars in GCI uh, directly related to those campaigns. And so the return on that is pretty incredible. Um, and uh, and we, we've seen others do really really well uh, with uh, with Facebook ads. All right, so let's talk a little bit about the challenges. Um, of course, you know, Facebook ads the platform can be a little bit confusing. Uh, they're constantly changing the platform. They're changing the rules. Their uh, the terms of services are constantly changing, and the platform is a little can be a little bit more technical. Uh, and so, you know, a lot of a lot of times we see agents shy away from that. So, uh, but uh, but I'm going to show you today how simple it is to to get you know a very simple ad up and running and uh, and start generating leads right away. 
Uh, leads are cold. Uh, these are people that you've never talked to before. Um, they require a lot of nurturing. Uh, speed to lead is critical with uh, with these cold leads. We'll talk a little bit about that a little bit later. Uh, the majority of the leads that we're generating are typically six to twelve months out. Uh, so again, you know, the, the nurturing is definitely critical. And the conversion rates are low. You're typically seeing, you know, anywhere between one to three percent. I mean, two to three percent conversion rates are usually uh, very high, and typically we're only seeing this with uh, agents that are, you know, have very, very solid systems in place. They're running retargeting campaigns, uh, video campaigns, and uh, uh, usually they have an inside sales agent that's doing most of the qualifying and booking appointments. Uh, definitely requires a rock solid follow up system. And and most agents, you know, when agents call me up and say, "Hey, listen, I want to spend some money. I want to go ahead start generating some leads using Facebook ads." First question I ask is, "Do you have a CRM system? What does that look or what does your follow up look like?" If they don't have anything in place. Um, or they're, they don't have, you know, they, they don't have the scripts, they don't have a proper uh, system to be able to segment leads, uh, they don't have a plan in place, usually I recommend don't spend any money on Facebook ads because the follow-up is absolutely critical. This is how you take these leads and you convert them. Uh, and it's really tough to stay committed. I mean, because those leads are so far out, uh, it's uh, it, it's hard to continue this. It's hard to continue to spend money every single month. And, um, you know, in, in a lot of cases, you're not seeing anything come out of that um, until after two, three, four months of following up. Even when we were doing our um, our first time, or it's not our first, our, um, uh, we do a lot of webinars for our pre-construction stuff. I mean, it took us it probably took us about a month and a half to really dial in our system. And we were spending thousands of dollars a month um, trying to sell uh, pre-construction units over Zoom calls. And uh, and again, it was just, you know, this, we're burning money in the first month. And we finally dialed in the systems. We dialed in our follow-up. We put a team in place and so on and just continued to do that and started testing more ads and so on. And eventually, we started seeing results. Um, in a lot of cases, what I see is, you know, agents are uh, pumping money into Facebook ads. They try it out for a week or they try it out for a couple of days. Few leads come through. You make a couple of phone calls. You figure out that most of the leads that are coming in, um, you're getting a lot of you know crap information. You give up, turn off your ads, you move on, tell the world that Facebook ads don't work. And that's typically what we see. So, um, so we're going to talk a little bit about um, uh, the goals here and, um, and, and why we do this. So, our strategy um, has always, always been to generate as many leads as possible and to fill our pipeline full of opportunities. And the reason why we do this, so we spend as much money as possible, we generate as many leads as possible, and we put all those into a pipeline. We, um, we have inside sales agents that call those leads. We do have some agents that, tip, that, that may, call, may call their own leads, uh, but typically we have a, a group of people that are calling those leads. But what we're trying to do here is really we're trying to build a database. And the reason why is because we know that leads are going to convert further out. So they're, again, like I said earlier, they're typically six to 12 months out. So um, the idea is to spend money on Facebook, uh, bring those leads into our database, and then continue to send offers to the database and nurture that database. And over time, what ends up, what starts end up happening is that those leads slowly start converting. So imagine this, imagine you're, you're spending $5 per lead, let's say, you build a database of 1,200 leads over the course of a year. And, uh, and then you start um, over that, that period of time, you continue to send offers. And these offers can be anything from, you know, a new listing that's on the market. Maybe you've got a list of homes that you want to send out. Um, maybe you hold an open house. You want, want to invite people. Maybe you uh, have access to some pre-construction or new construction. So you're constantly sending these offers back out to your database. And slowly what's happening is that you're nurturing this database. And we've seen this work over and over again. We recently, um, uh, we have a database of about um, 13,000 investors right now. Now, we built this up over the past two years and um, and and about uh, four or five months ago, we ended up having a, a new project that came up. We sent out an email to the database and uh, within uh, the first 12 hours, uh, I believe we ended up booking something like 29 or 30 appointments uh, very, very quickly, almost instantaneously. And this is what ends up happening. The beauty about this is that as you're building up this database, 
and you're remarketing to the database, meaning that you're, you're constantly sending offers back to this database, is that um, it's free. You're not paying for anything anymore. So, um, so that asset that you're building up over the course of the years, uh, and you, if you continue to nurture that and you continue send, uh, sending offers, you're no longer paying for that marketing. So this is our goal all the time, generate as many leads as possible and build our pipeline and continue to nurture that database. Uh, one of the big things that I see a lot of people not doing is they're not segmenting their leads properly. So it's important to find out when are my leads, are, when are, are they looking to buy? So what the, you know, what's the time frame? Are they looking to rent or, they, or are they looking to purchase? Do they own a house or do they not own a house, right? So segmenting your leads is really, really critical. And the reason why we want to segment our leads is because we want to pay attention to different types of leads differently, right? So usually, especially when you're generating hundreds of leads a month, it's really, really difficult to continue to follow up with all those leads. So what we do instead is we segment those leads we make sure that um, that we are we're we're separating leads based on time frame and whether they're looking to rent or purchase or if they own or rent and uh, and then we follow up on with them a little bit differently based on those um, uh, on those that criteria. So, for instance, if I get a lead that um, that says that they own a house and they're looking to buy or sell immediately, I'm on I'm on a coaching, huh? Excuse me. Yep. Life happens. Sorry, guys. Can I take you? I have oh, yeah. Go ahead. Sorry. <laughs> uh, we're having now. Uh, we're having some phone technical problems. That's pretty critical this morning. So, um, anyways, um, where was I here? Right. So, what we're doing here is we're focusing on, uh, you know, if I get it, like I said, if I get a lead that is. Um, that states that they own a house and they're looking to, you know, buy or sell in the next, you know, month to three months. I'm going to focus on that lead uh, more than I'm going to focus on the next lead that tells me, you know, um, I'm looking to rent and probably not looking to move for another 12 months. So I may put that lead instead of following up with phone calls and spending my time calling those leads and try to get a hold of them. I may just end up putting that type of lead into a longer drip or a longer follow up system. Um, you know, the goal, the, the, the next goal here is that we, and a lot of people miss the boat on this, is that we want to build rapport through nurturing and retargeting campaigns, right? So um, a, a lot of times, especially now with video, um, has become really, really critical. Even our email, like our long-term email drip campaigns, we've migrated a lot of them to, to, to video. So we've taken the actual emails, and now we've recorded videos based on what those emails are. Now we're sending videos out. It's just a great way to nurture and, and continue to build more rapport with those leads. We're running a lot of retargeting campaigns, mostly using a lot of video. We'll talk a little bit about what types of videos to run. Um, and of course, you know, staying consistent, committed to your marketing goals. Um, in a lot of cases, what I see is a lot of people like, okay, I'll, you know, I'll go ahead and spend 300 bucks on the first month. The way you need to look at this is that when you're, when you're running Facebook ads, you need, in a lot of cases, you need to look at this as a long-term um, marketing strategy and another pillar that you're adding to your business. And so, um, so if you look at this over, you know, an annual uh, marketing strategy. So if you're thinking, okay, I'm going to spend three to five hundred dollars a month, that's going to be, you know, somewhere around six thousand dollars a year. Now you can look at this and say, okay, you know what, this month I'm running these ads; they're not performing, you know, as well. I can, you know, switch things up a little bit, but I'll continue and stay committed to, you know, my marketing goal, with, which is to, you know, this is how much I'm going to invest in our Facebook ads. These are the number of leads that I want to generate to um, add to my database, and uh, and then just staying committed to um, to those goals and to to those strategies. Yeah. Uh, Joshua says, uh, what CRM do you use? Uh, so um, <clears throat> we use, uh, I mean, we've used everything. <laughs> we've used, uh, we, we started out with Line Desk um, years ago. Uh, that was a great little CRM for us. Uh, we then migrated to, um, we, we've used KD Core. We've migrated to Follow Up Boss. One of our big teams uses Follow Up Boss. We have another team that uses uh, Sierra Interactive. Um, we've used Chime. So, I mean, there's, you know, most of the CRMs are pretty decent. Um, one of the things I, I the, the, the one thing I look for in a CRM is how easy is it to use? Is there a mobile app and how easy is it to use on, on the mobile device? Because you're constantly traveling. So you need something that allows you to follow up with your leads really, really quickly and easy to use. One of the things I really like about Follow Up Boss is their smart lists. So they have, they have the ability to actually create lists where you can 
uh, it will automatically automatically drop your leads into um, different lists based on what they have done in your CRM. So for instance, you can say, okay, here's a list of everybody that I wanna follow up with that are my hot leads. And that list will be a smart list. And if you call them up, it'll remove, if you call them up, leave a message or call them up and they don't pick up um, and you're using the dialer, what it'll do is it'll remove them from that list and it will re-add them to that list based on the criteria that you've set. So if you say, okay, in this list, I only want to see the leads that I haven't spoken to in the past three days. It'll start dynamically adding um, leads in and out. Anyways, follow-up systems or, or follow-up boss is a really great CRM. Uh, we use it quite extensively. Um, there are others out there that have that smart list capability, which are also good. Um, the only thing I don't like about follow-up boss is the text, um, no text automation. So that's a little yeah. bit. So we have to use third-party tools for that. Gotcha. Khalid had another great question there. How how much did you spend building the database and how many people did you get into the database before you started seeing regular conversion out of the size of the database? So we we see, I mean, again, it really is about the follow-ups. Like we've seen, um, you know, we've seen conversions to appointments as high as 34 five to 40%. So this is where like people are calling booking appointments, show up rates might be, you know, somewhere around 50% or so. So you're looking at about a conversion to appointment at about 20, maybe about 20%. Um, and, and we've seen those results almost instantaneously. I've seen, um, you know, I, I had one agent I was working with, we started up their, their ads and almost immediately they got a, a cash buyer. Uh, and so it's not, you know, it's a bit of a lottery <laughs> like at the beginning, right? Um, I've seen, I have, a, I have a, an amazing agent that I work with um, in, in my, actually my hometown. Uh, him and I have become really good friends. I run his ads for free just because, I, I, you know, he's just a great guy and we can use his testimony. He's got a big team and stuff like that. So, um, but we, like we ran ads for him and this guy, his follow-up system is on point. His leads come in, he picks up the phone, calls them almost instantaneously. If they don't pick up, he's sending them a text message. I called them the first day we started the ads. I called him up at 1030 at night. I'm like, hey, what are you doing? He's like, I'm responding to all my leads. And so he's texting all his leads. And um, and he's just really good on the phone. He's got great scripts. Um, he does really well at converting his leads to appointments. And so it's really, it's really going to depend in terms of, you know, how good you are at your follow-ups, how consistent you are, what types of scripts you're using, and also what sort of offers you're sending back to your database. Um, if you're fairly consistent and you've got a decent follow-up or a, 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 a decent follow-up plan and you're sticking to it and you're using some really good scripts that you know allow you to convert those leads into appointments and you're consistently nurturing your database with more offers, you know, you're, you're sending something every three, four or five days or at least once a week back to your database. I, I, you know, within, within, you know, that database is going to start converting, you know, within weeks, it's not, and when I say converting, it's going to start converting in terms of you're going to start seeing people um, responding to your emails or reaching out to you, or, you know, you'll have the opportunity when you call them up, they'll pick up the phone and, and things like that. That's what I'm talking about in terms of conversions. So what I'm hearing there is speed the lead, get on the phone. Don't be lazy about it, right? When the lead comes in, get on the phone and call them immediately follow up the call with a text, follow up the text by getting them into your CRM on a proper drip campaign to be followed up with. Uh, and that will increase the odds of you having a higher conversion ROI right from the get go. Does that sound about right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. You know, one of the, th and I mean, I'll, you know what, I'll save it for later. Cause I'm going to talk about speed to lead and sort of what we used to do for um, just a little bit of background on our call. So we, we actually built an ISA team. So an inside sales team with a bunch of callers, um, and we trained and we, we ended up getting coaches that came in and, uh, and we hired them to train all of our ISAs, build new scripts, so things like that. And we really, we were able to improve. We, our inside sales agents got so good at converting appointments that we asked them to slow down because our agents couldn't convert the appointments into actual in-person appointments. So, um, <laughs> so we just, we ended up getting really, really good at it. Um, and, but we, from that, we ended up figuring out a lot of different things. Like, you know, we were able, like we were generating tens of thousands of leads every single month. And so we had the data and be able to look at, you know, okay, well, if we call within the first, you know, two to five minutes compared to if we call in 20 minutes, what does that look like? Does it actually make a difference? Um, and, and there's other little tricks that we ended up learning. I'll talk about those in a second here. 
Um, uh, so Follow Up Boss is one of the CRM systems. Uh, there's a bunch of them. Follow Up Boss, Lion Desk, um, Sierra Interactive, Chime, KV Core. Uh, there's, I'm, I'm sure if you just look up real estate CRM um, on Google, you'll find a ton of those. Yeah, if you're, <laughs> if anybody's doing Facebook ads, you need an inside sales agent. Um, I just spoke, I, I, a good friend of mine is a relatively new agent and uh, we just um, we, we just placed a, uh, an inside sales agent um, for him uh, just because he just can't handle, handle the volume of leads. What ends up happening with these leads is that, let's say you're spending $500 a month on generating leads, right? At an average cost of you know $5 lead, that means 100 leads. So you've got 100 leads that are coming in. Now, it doesn't seem like that much in the first month, right? You're talking about three, four leads a day. That's pretty easy to maintain, I, I think. Um, however, in the second month, now you're compounding. So now you have 100 leads in your database. You're adding an additional 100 leads. Now you have 200 leads you need to follow up with. And then on the third month, you've got 300. The fourth month, you've got 400 and so on. This is why segmenting is really, really critical. This is why long-term automations are really critical. But this is why inside sales agents are also really critical because you just, as a single agent, you shouldn't be focusing on qualifying your leads. You really should be focusing on other things like jumping on the calls, figuring out how to convert these leads into in-person appointments or Zoom appointments. Um, which is what we do now, um, but also how you know how to sell more uh, how to sell more homes, right? So, um, so, so the the whole lead gen thing, and especially with Facebook ads, because they're so easy to generate a lot of leads, it really should become a pillar in your business as another lead source. And then you need to start figuring out, well, how do I leverage other people um, so that I can gain more of my time back and let somebody else that's qualified to actually follow up with your leads and convert those leads? Because there's a lot of phone calls. Like in most cases, we're doing, you know, five to six phone calls in the first couple of days. Um, you need, you, you, as an individual agent, it's really, really tough to do this. So All right, let's move on. That, because we'll say two questions that probably lead you on, so we'll get back to them. But just so that the people know that we're not ignoring them. Uh, can you show you the most effective ad? What draws the most amount of leads? I'm sure you'll talk about that more specifically. And then do you have a good reputable company that you recommend for someone looking to hire an ISA. Yeah, so if you if you reach out to me on Facebook um, through Messenger, so um, we've got um, uh, Gustavo, who's a partner with us. Um, so Power ISA, he's got, he's got one of the larger ISA companies. So one of the new services that he's introduced is um, th they'll actually train an inside, like a full-time or a part-time inside sales agent that'll work for you um, and, and they'll, be, they'll, they'll be exclusive to you. And what that means is that they, that so the way it used to be um, way back, and there's still some companies that offer this is basically they'll follow up with your leads as they come in, right? So you've got leads that are coming in, they'll call your leads within the first five minutes, and they'll try to convert those leads into an appointment. They'll keep calling until they'll actually convert them. But what ends up happening is a lot of times, um, you know, maybe the leads aren't ready. Maybe you know they're not interested in an appointment. They were just you know curious about pictures or whatever, right? So, but those, you know, I spoke to somebody recently about this and um, uh, it, they're a huge coach here and they've, they've, they've coached some of the biggest teams in the country. Um, and, and their mindset is essentially every, every lead's a good lead. Every lead's going to buy or sell a home at some point in the future, right? And so if, you're my, if that's your mindset, that means that everybody, every lead that you get essentially potentially could be you know, another customer, right? So, so one of the nice things with Power I say now what they've done is that they'll go ahead and they'll train and manage. So they'll take care of the entire HR side of things for you. So you don't have to deal with, you know, hiring and firing and bonuses and all that stuff. They'll take care of all that stuff. And that um, inside sales agent works directly in your database. And so they'll follow up with all your leads as they're coming in. So they'll do the speed to lead thing. They'll follow up with your leads, um, you know, over time. So if a lead says, well, you know, I'm not ready right now, you know, call me back in five months. Maybe I'll like, they'll, you know, they'll mark the database properly. They'll follow up with that lead in five months from now. Um, they'll follow up on missed appointments. You know, you can basically, you can have them do whatever you want. They're an inside sales agent that works directly for you. And they're, um, they're exclusive to um, do your business. Uh, so you can, uh, um, Power I Say offers this, um, um, th this option. Uh, and it's uh, it's one that we've been implementing for uh, for other agents. Cool. 
Can we move on? <laughs> Any other questions? No problem. That was good. We're good? All right. Cool, cool. All right. Uh, we talked a little bit about this. Um, I, I think I get a, I got ahead of myself, uh, but you know this is pretty typical. I hear this all the time. Facebook leads suck. Um, I a, a couple of years ago we did a training on, uh, and the training was uh, was exactly this. It was you know face uh, Facebook leads suck, and uh, and then we we had a little subtitle that says no they don't you do, <laughs> which is you know at the end of the day. Um, I, I mean, and I know, I know this, we've proven this over and over again, that uh, we were, you know, we've, we've converted leads from Facebook, we've built massive, massive assets. Um, we, we have a, we have an agent here in our local city that um, has well over 180,000 leads in their database. And that, that database prints money for them every single month, nonstop. Um, and so, uh, you know, the, 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 the goal here is really, um, and this is one of my favorite sayings here. This is from one of my other business partners. And this is something that he used to say on the training all the on our coaching calls all the time. It says, you're not trying to turn the entire river to gold. You're really, uh, you're really just simply trying to find a few golden nuggets, meaning that you're not every single lead that you're generating, you're not trying to convert every single one of those. What you're trying to do is you're trying to qualify and trying to find those, those, um, those buyers and sellers that are actually looking and are qualified to buy and sell in the short term. The longer term ones, you put them into your automations and you nurture that database. Like I said, you keep sending offers to your database and eventually some of those may convert um, down the road. And this is really, um, this is a mindset thing, right? I mean, I see this a lot with agents where it's like, okay, I'm spending, you know, $250, $300, $500, I'll spend a thousand bucks this month, generate a bunch of leads, start making a couple of phone calls. Maybe you get busy. Maybe you do book a couple of appointments and then all these other leads start coming through. You're starting to drop the ball. You're not calling them anymore. Maybe you start calling them up again. Nobody answers their phones. They know the phone numbers are bad. Now Facebook leads suck, right? I give up. I'm done. I'm going to try something different. Um, and so we see this a lot and this happens quite a bit. So let's talk a little bit. I love talking about the math because the math really makes a lot of sense. Um, we know this. We've and again, we we typically um, we convert at a much 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 higher rate. And I think the reason why um, the two reasons one of them a lot, in a lot of cases we do have inside sales agents or we have buyers agents that are focused on um, on following up with leads that are coming through our system. Uh, so so the 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 math is really something you need to look at and. Um, in a lot of cases, um, you know, for generating $500 a month, we're generating about 100 leads. Sorry, for spending $500 a month, we're typically generating about 100 leads. We operate with a cost per lead of about an average of $5. Like that is our target. Um, we we can typically get leads for a little bit lower. Sometimes they're a little bit higher, but the average is about $5 per lead. So at 500 bucks a month, you're looking at about 100 leads. Over the course of 12 months, that's 1,200 leads in your database. So your total annual budget um, to build that type of database would be about $6,000. Now, this is where it gets a little bit interesting is where um, you start looking at the conversions. Now, if you're converting a 1%, which is pretty typical in the industry for, you know, an average, um, I, I'd say an above average agent, uh, you know, you're looking at about 12 deals. I don't know, what's the average? I, I used $250,000. I thought this was sort of the North American average cost of a home. That may have gone up over the past year. Yeah, that's a bit light. It's a bit uh, light, right? Okay. Yeah, yeah. I think most most markets would probably tell you they're more like three hundred to five hundred. Some. All right. Well, that's even better, right? Like, but that just means exactly. That just means the income ROI is much higher. Even so, um, and, and our market, like our the, our the market we're in, is insane. Like we just get one deal. Like I, I have agents here that'll pay a thousand dollars for a listing appointment. Like it's crazy. It's like for a book listing appointment, right? And that's because we're making. They know anywhere between twenty to twenty-five thousand um, uh, dollars every time we list, we, we list and sell a home. That doesn't take into account any of the leads that are being generated from that. So, anyways, if we're looking at a one percent conversion, that's twelve deals per year at a two hundred fifty thousand dollars, a two point five commission. That's what we get in a lot of other places, about three percent. You're looking at about sixty-two hundred dollars. Uh, so you're you know roughly at about seventy-five thousand dollars per year on a six thousand dollar ad spend. Right. This is how we look at things. And this is why we spend so much money is because, you know, we understand the math behind it. And we have the systems in place that allows us to convert these leads at about a 2% conversion. So that's the thing. If you start getting better and better at your job, at your sales skills, 
and you're starting to follow, you know, you, you've got the scripts in place, you've got an inside sales agent that's helping you convert this database, you're creating video content, you're putting offers in front of people more and more, and you can increase that. Well, then of course, you know, if you're looking at a 2% conversion rate, you're doubling this to about $150,000. And still, it's not bad on a $6,000 ad spend, right? Um, we'll talk a little bit more about how we can increase the um, the quality of our leads a little bit and also how you can get some of your time back uh, so you're not going crazy on you know talking to leads that aren't going to convert or pick up the phone or you've got bad data and so on. 525,000, 3% would be, yeah. Yeah, it's just throwing some quick math out there for folks in different yeah. markets, right? It's, it's huge. $300,000 average with 3% is 108,000. You'll do six figures in GCI off of a $6,000 Facebook ad budget if you convert 1% and your market's at 300,000 median sales price. Just throwing a couple numbers out there. It's basic math, right? Just take median sales times 12 times your commission average, and that's going to tell you your GCI off a $6,000 budget. And that's massive. And I'm not saying this is easy. This isn't, <laughs> this, isn't tough. this has been, you know, it's, again, you, you need the systems in place. You need uh, you, you need to you know, have the right scripts, you need a mind, good mindset, you need to create content so you can get back in front of the databases. One of the easiest ways for us to create content, and this is what we do with our databases, is we just keep sending them homes. Every time you get a new listing, we send them a new listing. Every time we get a new project for pre-construction or new construction, we send them a new project. Um, and, and that's how we stay top of mind with our database. We're sending them exactly what they want, which is homes, right? Uh, and um, I, I love the auto notifications um, that you can create for new homes because that's another great way of staying in front of people. Uh, of course, you know, anybody that's looking for a home, we take the, the, the criteria that they're looking for and we make sure that we're getting them on the um, instant, um, uh, the auto notifications for um, listings, right? For new listings in the market. Yep. All right, let's move along here. I got to make this a little bit quicker than I wanted to. Didn't realize we're already 40 minutes into this. I um, hope I'm not boring everybody here on this stuff. So uh, so one of the things I love about Facebook ads is making sure that we're keeping it simple here. I'm going to show you one of the campaigns. We run this campaign all the time. We put this together in under 15 minutes. Uh, and uh, I'm going to show you a couple other campaigns that we've done, different types of ads and things like that. Uh, again, at the end of the day here, you're not trying to... You're, you're not trying to promote an open house. You're not trying to sell a, 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 or at least this is not what we're doing. We're not trying to promote an open house. We're not trying to sell a home using Facebook ads. Our goal is to generate leads. That's what we're using these ads for. So our easiest and most effective campaign, this is one of the best ones. We run them all the time is our listing ads. I'll show you exactly how we do these. And I'll show you a couple of different examples. Um, and again, the ad, the, 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 the best thing about this ad, this type of ad, is that it's super easy to set up. You've already got the copy that's been written for you. Um, you barely need any testing whatsoever. Uh, it generates a ton of low-cost leads, and typically they're pretty decent leads. And we're generating seller leads from this as well. And um, and and it, again, you know, I, I don't want to say that I'm lazy. <laughs> I just I know this campaign works. I know, and this is our go-to. Every time you know an agent comes to us and says, "Hey, listen, you know, an agent from the team, they come to us, and say, I want to run, you know, I, I want to run a campaign on Facebook and start generating leads. It's great. I need a listing, and the listing can be anything, right? A listing could be, you know, one of your own listings, an office listing. It could be another agent's listing that you're borrowing. It could be pre-con. It could be new construction. These are like it's still a listing, right? And so you can leverage those. And of course, again, the goal is not to sell the home. The goal is really to generate leads. So this is what typically our listing ads look like. Um, this one, the one on the left-hand side here, this just listed one, the copy in here is a little bit more critical, but we were actually trying to, like we're generating leads, but the, this was one of our listings. And so we were, you know, we wanted to make sure we had a little bit more, um, uh, more of some of the features that were part of that listing. The one on the right-hand side, uh, this is, this we ran this ad for almost, uh, uh, maybe maybe a year, year and a bit. The home sold and everything. We had the owner call us out. Well, not us, the agent. I told the agent shut it down. Like he can't be doing running homes that have been. But it just was performing so well that he just kept it and eventually, you know, ended up sh shutting it off when the owner called them. <laughs> so, um, but but again, these are very very simple. Um, you know, look at the copy. The copy is really really basic. Uh, you're basically, you know, talking a bit, little bit about the price. You're talking about some of the features, and then you've got a call to action, which is, you know, basically if you, you know, want more pictures, 
uh, more details, pricing, and so on, click the button, send us your information, and uh, we'll be happy to send that to you. Now, a lot of people say, well, why, why would they even bother? You can just go on the MLS. And again, this is interruptive marketing, right? So where we're people are scrolling, people are lazy, they're scrolling to seeing this. So like, wow, it's a great looking house. Let's go click the button, fill in the information. Um, we use a lot of Facebook lead forms. So the information is auto-filled and, um, and then the information gets sent to us. And this is why the leads are so cheap. This is some additional examples here. The one, again, the one on the left-hand side did really, really well. Actually, both of these did really well. I'll tell you a little story about the one on the right-hand side. Um, but again, you know, you know, nice pictures at the front of the house. We usually use a kitchen picture. The one on the right-hand side, this was really an interesting um, um, ad that we did. And I really like these types of ads. So um, in a lot of our areas, uh, we have a lot of, you know, country um, sort of rural areas around the major cities. And so in a lot of cases, what we do is we use homes or listings that are in the rural areas and then we promote them inside of the or we promote them inside of the uh, metro areas and so it's just a little bit of uh you know you you can typically find a home that's a little bit so in our market right now like our average is probably about 1.2 million dollars um and uh you know if we go outside of the city a little bit you can pick you can see homes at 700 800,000 and so we'll use those and we'll advertise those again the 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 goal here is not to sell the home the goal here is really to generate leads and to fill our databases so that we can continue to advertise to that database now the copy is really really simple um you can see you know typically it's uh, it's three lines, not much more. Sometimes if it's our own listing, we might add a little bit more information inside of that. Uh, but again, you know, the, the, the goal here is generate leads, but also make our jobs as easy as possible. You don't need to be spending hours on creating these types of campaigns. These literally take 10 minutes to put together. They don't take a lot of time. If you have the images and so on, um, it's really, really simple to put together. Pictures are everything for this. Again, if you're using Facebook, you're interrupting the news feed. People are scrolling through the news feed. You need to interrupt that, that user and so that they read your ad and then click on the button, right? So pictures are everything. So typically what we're looking for, we're looking for, you know, the, the front of the house, something that's really clear, really nice. Um, we're, we're trying to avoid pictures that have big trees in front of the houses. Uh, in, in some cases I've worked with, um, um, I had this one agent had some great listings, but he was in an area where there's there was a lot of trees and it's just the photography was it wasn't that great. So in those cases, we might use a really nice kitchen or something like that and then put the house to the side um, inside of our grids. If you notice a, a lot of the um, typically these like these grid styles do really, really well where it's the front of the house and we're using a kitchen, we might flip this where we use the kitchen as the primary image and then the house as a secondary image. But we're always trying to find listings that have that front of the house uh, picture that's really clear, really nice. Uh, and that's you know typically what we're using. Mm -hmm. 